Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 149. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're now here for the Class E Super Lap days. We've got our Celica again. We're going to be taking it around all of the circuits now. Starting off with Rally de Positano. Positano. It's such a weird word. Couldn't they have just called it the Amalfi Coast? You know. I don't know. Let's just go with it. Now, Amalfi Coast, Fujimi Kaido, and then Nürburgring. It's the fact that the other day, right, I kid you not, was like, said to the dog, oh, go to bed. I go, go for a piss, you know, like you do before you go to bed. If you don't, you're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> And, um, get into my room, and slap bang in the middle, the dog is there. Refuses to move, right? I, I haven't, obviously, lived here long enough that I know how to get the dog to move. Like, I can talk, I, I will talk to it. I'll, so, yeah. I tried to sort of get myself comfortable. No. Couldn't. So, it was floor bed. <laughs> Literally floor bed for me. Sat right slap bang in the middle. Like, if she was sat on the corner, I could just, you know, have my legs to the side. It would have been fine. But no, slap bang in the middle, so I couldn't use my own fucking bed. Yes, I'm talking about you. Bastard. I'm joking. <laughs> ah, she's adorable, though. She gets away with it because she's cute. <laughs> I think that's the only reason why dogs get away with the shit that they do sometimes. It's just because they're so fucking cute. You're just like, ah, ah, she can stay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my chair's pretty comfy, but it's not comfy to sleep in. I need a more, like, a better chair. This one's, nah, it's not great. But I've also seen some of the prices of the ones that I'm looking at. And I'm like, I'm not spending 400 quid on a chair. <laughs> like, that chair better last me till I'm 35. Yeah, the Secret Labs. That's the one I was looking at. This is crazy. The Titan's a really big one, isn't it? Titan Evo has a 10-year warranty. Fucking hell. If he's got a 10-year warranty, I might have to have a look at it. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. I just... I don't want to get a normal, like, plain black chair. Because if I'm going to have it for 10 years, I, I want it to be... I don't want it to be something like the cyberpunk ones for example because if there's you know if there's a game that i'm into but then i'm not into it i've i'm then stuck with a chair that i'm not into anymore you know so i want to try and stay away from that yeah it's 100 percent worth the investment i sit in my chair a lot to be fair this one gets uncomfortable after about three or four hours so yeah, it might be worth looking into that. That'd be like a personal investment more than anything though, so I probably won't do my Twitch earnings with that. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> that is pretty decent. Could technically get away with that, but then at the same time, I can't be asked. So, I don't know. There's a lot of shit that I could technically get tax rebates on for, like, all of this. Because technically, this is a business. Are you seeing that, um... There's a YouTube video by Max Fosh where he tries to become the richest man in the world by creating a company, making a shit ton of shares and then selling one for 50 quid, which then makes his entire company worth like trillions. And um, <laughs> he always got in trouble because they thought um, he was basically tax fraud and shit. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, Max Fosh does some good videos. Hmm. I didn't know them. I don't know why your stream cut out, because I've got no problems on my end. I got the green light. Between the calls and repeating your name, Ruby, 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 Ruby. Whoa. I need to look again a second PC. So bad. That's like my goal for before the end of next year. It's always my fucking net, don't worry. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's my goal for the end of next year. By the end of 2023, I want to have a second PC. Even if this one here ends up being my second. and I'll have a look in a second. Got to finish this race first. It's been quite an uh, enjoyable race driving around here with the Salika. I love this track. Imagine an endurance race around here. That would be awesome. 24 hours around this street circuit. That'd be sick. Oh, I'm creating a traffic jam here because I didn't shift down. Bastard! I'm not. I'm not taking that. <laughs> I'm rewinding. <laughs> I was reading chat. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Dual GPU setup and have a primary Linux system that virtualizes Windows for gaming, with a second GPU as a pass through. That's my goal. Oh. Fair enough. I suppose that'd be pretty decent, actually. Um, I still need to look at getting, um, if I do get a second PC, I would have a gaming build that's got Windows and Linux, but SteamOS Linux, um, built in, so that I can game on the Linux side with SteamOS, because Proton is fucking killer at the moment, um, and then have Windows for, like, anything that needs Windows. Like, OBS, streaming. Well, to be fair, if it was a gaming build, it wouldn't need that. So, I basically just have the two sides. Um, and then have a streaming build like this. The question is whether I get build a system that's got a worse GPU than this one, but a better CPU. I don't know. 
OBS has lin works on Linux too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. People have been streaming off of the Steam Deck with OBS. Oh, maybe I should do that. Use my Steam Deck as a second PC and stream with that. I don't know how well that would work, though. Mm. Well, the, the thing is, I've, I've got to work it all out. So it, it will take a couple of months when I have the money for it to work it all out first but the plan is to I, I need I need a new desk but yeah I, I need to work stuff out work everything out see what's gonna happen but I would like to have two systems one for gaming one for streaming um, the only thing is, is whether I'm going to use the gaming PC as the video editing PC or the streaming one. Because technically speaking, the gaming PC will have the better graphics card of the two, while the streaming one will have the better CPU of the two PCs. So... I do to be fair. Um, if I'm wanting to record in the quality that I want to and play my games on PC and play them at the quality that I want to, I need two PCs. Running OBS um, whilst running a game at fairly decent graphics bottlenecks it big time. I've, I've got a capture card. That's what I'm doing with this. So I've got a capture card so it, it would be I would have <laughs> the plan is for this series that I'm doing all of these motorsport games are going to be done on consoles except for motorsport 7 that's on PC um, so as soon as I'm done with motorsport 4 I'm moving over to the Xbox One playing the four games that are on Xbox One and then uh, Horizon 3, 4 and 5 and uh, motorsport 7 are all going to be played on PC but there is no way in hell. Like, I try and stream. Just stream. Forza Horizon 4. And Horizon 5. And it struggles to get 60 FPS. On high graphics. While streaming. And I've got to record on top of that as well. Plus run all my bot software. When it comes to me actually doing the YouTube walkthrough. So just to make my life easier, I am going to get two PCs. Yeah, but Raspberry Pis are really expensive at the moment. I've thought of it, don't worry. I've, I've thought about running my bot softwares on... I, I mean, I don't know if they run because it, it might need Windows. But I've been tempted to run my bot softwares on a Raspberry Pi, but... Even then. They're expensive. I'm not going to buy a used one either, so... Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, I would literally need a bare bones one, but I need one that can run the uh, mix it up bot software, because that's what I use as bot software. And I really can't be asked to program another one. Like, sort out new code and everything. Because I'm lazy. Not lazy, just can't be asked. Um, yeah, give me a minute. It's just mix it up. If you search mix it up, it should come up. Because it's, it's fairly... It, it used to be a mixer bot, but then mixer shut down. And they basically just converted it into a twitch bot um but it was a really re it still is like one of the best bots out there that i've used 
Because it, it's simple to use, yet complex enough that I can do complex shit. And then if push comes to shove, Python. I, I haven't even actually found something that I've needed to use Python for it. So... <laughs> nice one. These episodes are really short. Do you know one thing? Ah, here's a good good topic, right? It's about food. So two things that I'm very interested in: gaming and food. <laughs> so, this is definitely a uh, passionate, passionate topic of mine. Um. So when when I went Turkey, right, went away, and one of the drinks that they have there, it's called Fuse Tea. I'd, I've never seen it in the UK. Um, I had a look on their website. I don't think it exists in the UK. But it's by Coca-Cola, which really surprised me because I, I, I was obviously looking at the ingredients like, oh, what's in this? Because it tastes really good. And it said it was by the Coca-Cola company. So Coca-Cola makes iced tea. Didn't know that, but they obviously had in Turkey, they had Lipton as well, which Lipton's very popular in the UK. But I never understood why they don't sell. Because Fuse Tea, I kid you not, is a million times better than Lipton Iced Tea. Right, and I know, I know that sounds like, ooh, what, is, what are you talking about tea? I fucking love iced tea. Like, it is my favorite drink at the moment. I can drink a metric fuck ton of iced tea. Absolutely love it. Raspberry iced tea is my favorite, but I kid you not. They had all sorts of flavors. They had peach iced tea. They had um, pineapple iced tea, watermelon iced tea. And holy shit, if you haven't tried watermelon iced tea, that shit is fucking bussy. There is no other way to describe it. It's so good. But, obviously, Fuse Tea doesn't exist in the UK. It probably exists somewhere in London or something, because, let's be honest, everything exists in London. But, like, it, in general, it doesn't get shipped to the UK. And I don't understand why. Like, you go to countries like Turkey that sells it, and you're drinking it, and it's just like, wow, it's pretty fucking good. Why is it not here? I want fused tea. Give me some fused tea, you fucking bastard. <laughs> How has the power gone out in your house? Fucking hell. It's because they wired your internet router being wired straight into your mains box. That That's why your power's gone out, alright? <laughs> I, 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 I saw that. I cannot believe your router's wired in like that. This is crazy. Yeah. Your router tripped the whole street. <laughs>
God damn. Oh shit. Right, well, the Nurburgring's coming up in a minute, so let's... Let's move over to the Nurburgring. And apparently my... Oh, wait, no, I was... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I deliberately didn't stop recording for the last one. I got 5% to last over four hours when we were on holiday. You can't get 5% to last over four hours on an iPhone. Uh, no. No. If you d literally do not use the phone at all, then yeah, it will last four hours. But that's because the iPhone, if you're not using it, doesn't drain. But as soon as you start using an iPhone, the battery life is horrendous on an iPhone if you're using it. It's unreal. That's the one thing I will say that is better about iPhones is when you turn the phone off, it does a lot less stuff in the background than on Android. So, therefore, battery life slightly better. When it's off, when it's on, the battery life's terrible for an iPhone. Nice one. By the way, Kodo, what you're telling me, if you've got 5% to last four hours, what you're telling me then is you got a phone, an iPhone, to last three days and eight hours. Like, if that was fully charged, would have lasted three days and eight hours. Bear in mind, no phone has ever claimed to last three days and eight hours on a single charge. So, somehow I find that very hard to believe that you got 5% and made it last four hours. Like, literally no phone has ever claimed. They claim, like, all-day battery life, which they it can be anywhere from eight to 16 hours, not three days and eight hours. I think someone's telling porcupines. I need. No. Not at all. The Nurburgring Endurance. Going around the Nurburgring that many times is so tedious. Not really a fan of this track either. I think it's terrible. In terms of racetracks, like, it's not a fun racetrack. It's one of the most challenging racetracks, sure. If you, if you get enjoyment out of being literally on the edge of death and have to wrestle cars to get around them, then sure. But in terms of the fun factor, being able to enjoy the track, it's not one that you can enjoy. It's a really... nah. Ooh. 
Well, yeah, that's not the phone's on then. The phone's not on. I'm talking about battery life when you're using the device. My phone, if I was to fully charge it, it lasts like two, three hours at the moment because it's got an old knackered battery. But if I was to fully charge it and not touch it, it would still have 80% charge in three months time probably. Working out the the longevity of a battery. No. A phone, not the iPhone. <laughs> Very few phones can claim to do. I th I, I remember seeing a, a phone. I think it was a JCB phone or something that claimed to have like an insane battery life, but that was for like builders and shit. It's not a phone, you... <sighs> it's not a proper phone. It was a tech demo. It basically stuck a power bank on the back of a normal phone. <laughs> Barely a phone. failed because it's stupid you should be getting extra battery life by being more efficient with how you use your power not by just slapping more power onto it that energizer phone is basically the american way of thinking about things they just chuck more at it and hope it solves the problem it's a very american way of thinking Put some more gas on it. That should create a bigger fire. Put more bullets in it. That should do more damage. <laughs> Put more horsepower in it. It'll go faster. <laughs> Such an such an American way of thinking. Put more of it in and hope that it works. <laughs> Why have you refunded Modern Warfare 2? 
You were literally trying to get me to buy it yesterday. You bought it, and now you've refunded it. Do you know, actually, I'm quite a fan of Call of Duties. Like, a, a lot of people say, like, dog shit, but I, <laughs> I really like just going into a game and just killing shit. Like, for competitive people, yeah, it might be dog shit. But I'm, I'm very much a fan of just, I, chuck me into a multiplayer game, let me point at some heads and shoot. I don't give a shit how this game plays. It's why I like Doom a lot as well, because you just point at some heads and fucking shoot. Like, I'm, I'm very much a fan of those kind of games. How the gameplay? You could do that IRL, it's called America. Oh my god, fucking hell chat. Fucking hell chat. And on that note, I'm out of here. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace out